morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It's Saturday the 30th of July 2022 and today I'm heading to North Alton Town versus Crook Town in Northern League Division 1. <laughs> So here I'm in North Halton and as the ground hopping community would tell you, the uh, selfish scum weather is back again. Um, but anyway, uh, we obviously did see North Halton in the very early stages of this month. But as a reminder, last season they did finish 16th in Northern League Division 1. As for Crook, they were 15th, which uh, isn't too bad considering it was their first season in Division 1 after promotion from Division 2. Um, but as it as has been more than documented by me, uh, North Halton have an absolutely dreadful record on the channel. Can this finally be the day for them? Uh, but anyway, not knowing the luck I bring them, they'll, uh, they'll probably find themselves bottom of the table after the first round of matches. Um, but yeah, but after as I keep saying, things these sorts of runs do have to end one day don't they and it'd be interesting to find out if it is today but either way I'd like I really do enjoy visiting this ground uh, it's run by really good people and as well uh, the burger here is something else um, so, so yeah it uh, should be a good afternoon it's a uh, to keep it fairly simple this weekend we're traveling and so on or obviously got to bear in mind I am heading over to the states and that on Monday and I've got to head down to London, London tomorrow so that's the reason why there's no new tick or no sort of further travel or anything like that today but anyway let's head to the Calvert Stadium and find out how it all unfolds. So the teams are warming up, uh, Crook are getting ready here, it looks as though they're going to be in a chain strip of blue this afternoon and North Allerton are getting ready over there, uh, fully expect them to be in their usual black and white stripes. 22, 22 so here come the teams and interestingly enough this afternoon it is an officials team of entirely women which is really good to see actually um, if you've got to think it was only what a few years ago that would have been totally unheard of but now I think it'll be something that you'll gradually see more and more of which honestly I'm, I'm, I'm all for it to be fair I'm underway North Holland's look up on this channel. Oh, that deserves a goal, that. Time's on time! 
Oh! Oh no. Just can't get it on target, can they? Oh, sad. Are you joking me? That is a, that is a shocking decision, that mind. Half time, North Holland Town 0, Crook Town 1, and uh, North Holland have been massively hard done by here. But I'm not going to lie, I did not think that was a penalty at all. I mean, from where I was, uh, it clearly looked as though he won the ball, and uh, if anything, the Crook players maybe made a bit of a meal of it as well. Um, so, I mean, if I was maybe I was a bit too far away to like make a fair assessment of it, but uh, yeah, in my honest opinion, I didn't think it, it was a penalty. Um, I mean, in general, throughout the half, North Fulton have like sort of dominated, and I just haven't been able to put the ball in the back of the net. But uh, while North Fulton have had more of the chances, it's probably safe to say Crook have had the better of the chances. So it's a close game, as you probably expected it to be, given their uh, league, given their positions in the league table last season. But uh, so the second half goes, it's far from over this. I mean, if Crook go 2-0 up, that'll knock the stuffing out of North Allerton. But, uh, but if North Allerton equalise, then uh, to be honest with you, I'd maybe fancy them to go on and win this game. But it just depends how quickly that comes about in the second half. But uh, North Allerton don't need to panic or anything yet. There's still plenty of time for them. If they keep going about it the way they are, then uh, surely before long, a good chance will fall to them. The never-ending curse. Crocodile's 10 minutes as well. Uh, North Alton really needs to take some initiative here. It's a free kick or is it a penalty? I think it's a free kick. Got it wrong, it's a penalty.
can no follow and go on and win this now. Oh, oh! It's a double one! Can you believe this? Is this it? No! No! Oh! oh this finally did a dare. That's the ball. Get it! Oh no! As I said, curse never ending. I had it all, but this, honestly, Crocker down to nine men. It's going to be a big task for them to hold out now. I mean, if they do, then they'll be delighted with a point, but. It's. Oh, no! The shot! Oh, what a save! Oh! That's the end of the game. Full time, no follow in town three, Crook town three. And where do you start with all that? Well, uh, Four penalties, uh, Crook reduced to nine men. Uh, the game had absolutely everything, didn't it? Uh, as I mentioned, a half time really controversial penalty. I personally uh, thought it wasn't, it, it, it shouldn't have been a penalty, but uh, it was given. And obviously, Crook took the lead from there. And in the second half, uh, it looked so not. Fallon's heads had dropped a little bit. Uh, obviously, Crook started in his in the second half and uh, got a 2 0 lead. And you're thinking from that point onwards that. Um, it was going to be, be a bit of a formality for them, but uh, not for long, came back into it. Obviously, they won the penalty, and uh, a crook player was subsequently sent off for the second bookable offence. I mean, away that game went this afternoon, it was totally inevitable that somebody was going to get sent off eventually. Um, as um, then, obviously, not follow and pulled it back to 2 1, and shortly after, they were awarded yet another penalty. I thought initially uh, the referee had pointed for a free kick, but she'd given a penalty, and uh, yeah, almost identical. Second penalty, almost identical to the first. Um, not far or back level, and from there you're thinking that we're doing about time that was left, and the fact Crook were down to ten men that not far, and we're going to go on and win it. And it looks as though they had all the momentum. They had a few chances, um, but couldn't put the ball away. And uh, ten minutes from time, obviously it was Crook that actually took the lead, and it was a beautiful curling shot into the corner. I mean, initially I thought I'd taken a deflection, but now I watched it back. Uh, you know, just got to applaud what was. A real good goal, um, but the drama wasn't done there. Her uh, went in a corner, her massive scramble, and uh, eventually it's gone in off a crook player. And uh, but that was what five minutes or so left. Then shortly after that, crook were reduced to nine men, and uh, 
from then on it was obvious there was going to be a lot of added time and stuff like that so you wondered how crook were going to hang on but they did uh north allerton i uh, think as the game was approaching the 90th minute had a shot that was fired over um then uh right at the end uh, the crook keepers pull off a unbelievable save really to make make sure that they came away from the game with a point but uh yeah unbelievable day of football um haven't seen a game like that for quite a long time and i don't think i'll see another one like it for quite a long for quite a long time um yeah i uh, thought last night was quite something today was like just on another level completely uh, but anyway that is that for this video and the I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is I'll not be back until next Sunday afternoon, but the good news is it is with the video that you are all waiting for. Orlando City versus New England Revolution. Of course, the game is going to be played on Saturday evening, 7.30pm uh, uh, US time. Um, then I'll have the video up all being well by, I'd say, maybe half one, two o'clock uh, in the afternoon UK time on a Sunday. But... Until then, take care and I will see you later.